Hi, I am Podi Fallar, your biology teacher. Today, I am going to discuss about the microorganism of standard A. We can observe that different types of plant and animals present in our surroundings. But do you ever hear that may some smallest organism present in our surroundings, we cannot observe them by our naked eyes. Now this type of smallest organism, which are quite invisible for us, this type of organism are termed as a microorganism. In the year of 1590, two brothers, F. Johnson and J. Johnson, invent one type of specialized instrument, which help to observe the smallest organism that known as a microscope. Microscope means the instrument which help to observe the microorganism. Now, this microscope are two types on the basis of viewing media. First one is light microscope. The microscope where the viewing media is light. And the second one is electron microscope. The microscope where the viewing media is electron rays. We can observe the specimen by creating some photography by using the electron microscope. It is invented by the M. Noll and E. Ruska. And this light microscope on the basis of number of lens this light microscope are two types it's maybe the simple one or the compound simple light microscope the microscope where we can found the only one lens and and the viewing media is light this type of microscope are simply light microscope and the compound light, light microscope having the two lens one lens near to the eye that known as the eyepiece lens and another lens near to the object or the specimen that termed as the objective lens and the viewing media is light that termed as a compound light microscope we will discuss in details relating to the microscope during the lab activity. Now, now we know that every organism of the living organism are made by the smallest unit. This smallest unit are known as a cell. The plant are formed by the specialized cell that known as a plant cell, whereas the animals are formed by the specialized cell that known as a animal cell. Although although the basic structure of plant cell and animal cell are quite similar. It's a animal cell. Animal cell. In case of the plant cell, plant cell are bounded by a thick non-living outer covering that known as a cell wall whereas in animal cell cell wall is absent the innermost portion of the cell is known as a protoplasm generally protoplasm is the mixture of nucleus and cytoplasm nucleus is the brain of the cell one well developed nucleus having the four parts. The outer membrane of nucleus known as the nucleo membrane. The fluid present within the nucleus that termed as a nucleoplasm. The fiber present within the nucleus that known as a nucleo. Fiber 
and one small round shaped membraneless organ is present within the nucleus that comes as a nucleolus. So, the same having the OL developed nucleus or the nucleus having these four parts, this type of cell are termed as a eukaryotic cell. And the cell which does not contain any OL developed nucleus or ill developed nucleus present that termed as a prokaryotic cell. Now, on the basis of cell, this microorganism are divided into two categories. <laughs> One is non-cellular, non-cellular type, and another one is cellular type. So the microorganism does not contain any type of cell. They are termed as a non-cellular microorganism, and the microorganism which are formed by the cell they are termed as a cellular microorganism. Within the cellular non-cellular microorganism, we can discuss about the virus. Now, why the virus termed as a non-cellular microorganism? If we discuss about the structure of the virus, every virus are covered by a general outer covering, or every virus contains a general outer covering that known as a capsid. That known as a capsid. Within the capsid, there is no protoplasm or cytoplasmic cell organelles. Only the genetic materials present within the capsid. So, in case of the cell, we can found that within the cell there are present a thick jelly-like substance that known as a protoplasm. And protoplasm is the mixture of nucleus and cytoplasm but in case of the virus within the capsid there is absence of cytoplasm or the protoplasm only the genetic material genetic material it's maybe the dna deoxyribonucleic acid or the rna ribonucleic acid present that's why the virus termed as a non-cellular microorganism. So, in case of the virus, within the capsid there is no cytoplasm or the cell organelles. Only the genetic materials like DNA or RNA present. That's why virus termed as a non-cellular microorganism. Now, another line relating to the virus. Virus also termed as an intermediate stage of life. When the virus out of the host body or within the out of the living organism's body, it behaves like a non-living organism. But when the virus enter into our body, they can reproduce. It means it behaves like a living organism. That's why the virus termed as an intermediate stage of life. Now, on the other hand, the cellular microorganism of the microorganism formed by the cell. They are termed as a cellular microorganism. The first one is bacteria. Bacteria. We know about the bibliocology, mycobacterium tuberculosis. When we observe the bacteria, it contains the single cell. So it may be the unicellular. Uni cellular. Now, within the bacterial cell, that does not contain the OL developed nucleus. It, they contain the ill developed nucleus or the nucleus lack of nuclear membrane and nucleolus. So, bacterial cell contain the ill developed nucleus. So, it's a prokaryotic organism. Prokaryotic. And the bacteria cell contain the cell wall. So, it's a plant. So, what is bacteria? Bacteria is unicellular prokaryotic plant. Example, bibliocology, mycobacterium tuberculosis. Now, the another type is fungi. 
and the fourth one is third one is algae and the fourth one is protozoa now do you ever observe that one rotten bread contain some fibers very fibers like structure very fibers like structure is made from the mucor or rhizopus or when we move to the field we can found that one greenish layer green layer present on the soil of paddy field they are known as a bluein algae now when we observe this type of organism this type of organism when we observe this type of organism we cannot divide their body parts into the root leaves or the stem or the stem it looks like all the body parts are equal all the body parts are equal this type of equal and undifferentiated body parts are termed as a thallus so so algae and fungi contain specialized body parts while all the body parts looks like the equal and undifferentiated that known as a thallus so both containing the thallus it's the, the both are the thallophyta now you know about the mushroom so mushroom does not contain any green pigment so the definition of fungi will be the thallophyta thallophyta without chlorophyll without chlorophyll and where is the definition of algae will be the thallophyta and having the chlorophyll that comes as a algae it's the example of algae is the bluegill algae and then now this theory bacteria fungi and algae this three type of organism contain the cell wall so we can classify them they are belong to the plant group due to the presence of the cell wall and the, on the last one is the protozoa we know that proto means primitive zoa means animals so protozoans are the primitive animals when we observe the structure of amoeba amoeba is a unicellular it means a single cell containing organism so in a unicellular organism we need the microscope to observe them and and this type of organism contain the well developed or well definite nucleus so it's a eukaryotic organism and also known as a primitive life so this type of organism does not contain the cell wall so protozoa are the unicellular microscopic eukaryotic primitive animals that's enough for the today if you have any doubt you can mention it in the comment box bye